How is it going everyone? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and today guys bringing you guys a brand new video talking to you guys regarding Need for Speed 2015 talking to you guys about some of the performance upgrades so um, someone said to me today Mac can you do a video talking about what you can actually upgrade to your performance on Need for Speed 2015 and also talk about you know, the different types of cars you can have when you upgrade a car from stock all the way to elite, right? So there's different varieties of cars once you upgraded them. So like if you guys remember like from Forza or you know any really racing game really, like you'd have a letter which would say like stock, right? And then if you gave it like an exhaust system or a, you know adding more buff brake horsepower, or whatever, the uh, category of that car would go up because you know it's technically a more performance car, right? So um, in Need for Speed, right, there are five different options in terms or five different categories for your cars, right? So you have stock which has no icon at all. You have Sport, which is Sport S and Sport S++, or S++, S+. You have Performance, which is P and P+. Racing, which is R and R+, and Elite, which is just E, which is, uh, you know, Elite is the best, and obviously stock is just standard, right, on that vehicle. So, uh, you know, that's pretty interesting. So, um, those are the types of, like, upgrades and, like, type of, like, category your car can be in. Now, we're talking about the upgrades, right? So there's quite a few upgrades, especially talking about performance upgrades, because there is a ton, right? So I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm not going to like describe all of them, but uh, I'll just tell you like, some of the main ones, some of the ones which are more common, you know, like me personally, right? Like on my own personal car, like, I've upgraded it quite a bit. Like, I've given it a lot more performance. I've given it a remap. I've given it a performance exhaust system, an intercooler and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's very similar to Need for Speed, right? So, in Need for Speed, you can change the air filter, the cooling system, the intake manifold, the fuel system, the uh, force induction, the electric system, you know, a better ECU, a lighter battery and stuff like that. Uh, the ignition, you can, uh, you know, upgrade your ignition, add some new spark plugs and stuff like that. Which I've done personally, you know, personally, but it's pretty awesome how much you can actually upgrade in this game. I mean, in Forza Horizon 2, you can literally upgrade anything. And it's pretty nice how it's very similar in Need for Speed. So um, you can also change your ECU. Like I have, like in my per in my personal car, you know, I've changed the ECU, which you know increases the turbo and stuff like that. The turbo, the pressure and stuff like that. So a new ECU, an engine block, a camshaft, a cylinder heads, exhaust manifold, exhaust system, clutch, nitrous system, which is obviously going to be a big key, guys, because everyone loves running NOS on Need for Speed. It's just like. A casual thing. It's always been like a signature dish. Dish. It's always been a signature dish. Dish. Yeah. Disc. Dish. You know what I mean, right? And it's always been in every Need for Speed, right? And everyone loves a bit of nitrous oxide. And I think ever since, from like, you know, I, I would, I would say from the movies, you know, Fast and Furious, whatever. I mean, Need for Speed is pretty based from that, right? So that's pretty cool. You can also upgrade the suspension, the differential, tires, brakes, handbrakes, sway bars, and that's it. You know, I was gonna only go for a few, but I thought, why not? You know, I was having a blast. I thought, why not? tell you guys all about them but yes yeah, so there'll be a link guys down below to the website you guys if you guys do want to check out in more detail but uh, but yes yeah, so are you guys excited for new speed 2015 i am thoroughly excited guys i cannot wait for the game to come out it's literally like under a week away and uh, the big thing about it guys is you know i can't wait honestly i cannot wait to play this game it's gonna be amazing and you know i can't wait to bring you guys some walkthroughs so anyway guys Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps.